Hey everyone, this is my Patreon powered reaction to the 31st episode of Uchu Kyodai, or Space Brothers. Last episode, we were able to fight Appa, which is great, and we also got to watch Hibito launch into space, which is obviously a pretty important event, so luckily Hibito, uh, Muta actually got a pretty good view of that as well because he followed some crazy dude, you know, to the middle of nowhere to do so, so yes, it was worth it, I don't know, I guess it's a matter of opinion, but he did get to see it, so there is that. So now that that's happened, I wonder what we'll focus on with this episode. I guess we'll find out. So, three, two, one, clip. Get to get to rewatch the launch. I see. Boom. Yeah. Let's make sure no animals are near that. It would waste like if some bird was below that. Lift off. Yeah. But soon they make you a little bit nervous have your son be launched into space. Uh. Whoosh. Then it gets quiet. We looked, we saw. It's quite something. Well, good luck, Ibito. You're now going to space, the last frontier. Going where no Japanese man has gone before. Yeah, why don't they put the rocket right in front of the sun? Maybe the rocket is the sun. You can at least see the smoke. What? Oh, that did it take that long for the shockwave to get to them? I thought when it's I'm counting down, I thought maybe the place was gonna blow up. That'd be quite a twist. Yeah, that definitely leaves a bit of a bit of an aftershock. Well, rockets are pretty loud. They're one of the louder things. Hopefully, Hibito had his earplugs on. Far better than anything they could have built when they were kids. <laughs> he does look pretty excited. <laughs> Very understandable. Now he's gotta get some dead weight off. Well, now what? Now your brother's in space. What's your next move? Oof. I guess it's time to take a nap. Okay. I can get behind that. I can always get behind that. I wouldn't call 30 episodes quick, but, uh... I think so. I 
And yeah, we're now with zero gravity. The best part of space. I've only experienced zero gravity. <laughs> now we get the opening. I've only experienced zero gravity in virtual reality. And even there, it's pretty cool, so. I can only imagine how cool real zero gravity would be. <sighs> Oppo, fix the tire. I wonder if the whole Pipito driving the nice car and Muta driving a bicycle that like breaks on him. I wonder if that's supposed to be kind of, uh, you know, symbolic for how much more successful Hibito is than Muta currently. I'm probably reading too much into it, but that is kind of uh, something that crossed my mind. And then the car stops. <laughs> You know, breaks down part way through. Which could be continuing the metaphor, but I don't know. This opening doesn't have anywhere near enough silly dancing in it, though. That's my biggest criticism of it. Rocket Road. <laughs> it sounds like a type of ice cream. Ah, uh, disconnecting. Let's spread Orion's wings. It really, really is some cool technology. Most animals on Earth could never dream of being able to get into outer space. It really shows the difference between humans and the rest of the animals of Earth. They can never manage anything like this. Pens. Why are pens like the stereotypical thing to play with in space and like zero gravity? Welcome to space. I hope you enjoy your stay. It's pretty cool from what I've heard. Really easy to lose your stuff though, it just kind of floats away. Yeah, it must be pretty... Must be a pretty emotional thing to finally have all that... Tests and training and practice, all that payoff to actually be in space. I mean, they've wanted this since they were little kids, so... Back down to Earth. Where the commoners live. Are we just never leaving the spot, Hibito? Uh, Muta, is that, is that what we've decided? This is our new home? I mean, I guess he was your right here, so he... You can only leave when he leaves, I guess. Uh, Oppo, I don't want you being near this weirdo. I thought it was over. Really wish you would stop that. Is that how it works? I guess if you're really into this sort of thing, I guess you would wait for that part. Doesn't sound super exciting, though. Like, maybe slightly more excited than watching paint dry. He did, your little boy's in space. Something well, a small amount of people will ever be able to do. Perfect. 
<laughs> okay. So instead of uh, an American having Japanese on his shirt, we now have a Japanese guy with English on his shirt. Sounds legit. Yeah, the people there were the only ones watching, clearly. Not everyone can get you live. Yeah, now hopefully Muta can do it too. He's getting he's pretty close. He's gotten pretty close to being an astronaut, so. Yeah, was that your first time? <laughs> Don't worry, that's how it goes with everyone's first time. Gotta <laughs> be an important message. Okay. Wow. Wow, that sounds so... <laughs> Doesn't even sound like a voice acting in an anime, it just sounds like a legit interview. <laughs> I... I don't know if that's intentional or not, but yeah. Okay. Good question. Good answer. <laughs> wow, he means they don't kill your brother. My poor my poor shoulder. We're never gonna we're never gonna get our question chosen. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool. Brian and Zero G, that would be interesting. <laughs> Please pick Kirito before he destroys his brother's arm. He is going to break that arm. I bet if she knew you were going to be an astronaut in the future, she'd be more eager to choose you. Just drag your brother up there. <laughs> he really is so excited. Well, he is. <laughs> Wasn't wrong. I would love to go to Mars. That'd be cool. Third time's the charm. Maybe Muta will fail twice and eventually get it as well. <laughs> At least one of you will. Hopefully both. I mean, he sort of wants to. <laughs> yeah, that... Probably go to space, who knows? Definitely see an enthusiasm difference here. Well that was that was fun. <laughs> well yeah. He makes it happen. <laughs> English practice? 
That's a please you space, what? The straight path up to space? You just go up, you can't miss it. No. Uh, you've been corrupted, Muta. In other words, stick into it. <laughs> Nothing quite like docking. It can be, it can be pretty fun. Make sure you get it in properly. It'd be pretty embarrassing if you missed. That's pretty close. That's even closer. We're almost to it, and yeah, you actually got it in. First time. Docking completes, and everyone watched and saw him do it successfully. He seems less excited, which is to be expected. Let's go to the moon. It's right there. Can't possibly miss it. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one. Zero. Like, my county wasn't quite perfect, I guess, but... Good job, guys. We did it. Maybe they'll finally get to see them see the world from space where it looks its best. And now we yeah, there he sees it. And it is not flat, see? Next? A little queasy. It was quite a trip. Get up. Space sickness. <laughs> I never heard that term before, but... <laughs> well then. <laughs> well, maybe you should use the bag then. Aye, aye, Captain. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see from Earth. Okay. No. Because dogs like to eat them? And why'd you bother to bring it up, you whack job? Eight dollars. Think we're made of money? Dog you. Uh, 
I'm guessing that there's a lot of mixed feelings on that. Okay, I guess that's an acceptable answer. A little poetic, but I guess it's fine. Apo. I'm going to look up why hot dogs are called hot dogs on the internet after this. Yeah. I am aware of that. Okay. Chief Pilot Instructor. Huh. Cool, I guess. I guess Ibito talks about him a lot. I mean, kind of already knew that. I imagine a lot of people do. Flying a jet was just probably really cool. <laughs> Yay. 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 I did tie it up, it was not my fault some stupid brat untied it. Really is, it really is. And that's the episode. I mean, a lot less happened in the episode than I expected. I mean, what I mean by that is the ep is that they just kind of mostly continued with the space stuff. Like, it's still had a lot to do, like detaching certain parts of it and connecting things and stuff like that. And, and Muta barely left that area that he was in at the end of last episode. Got a hot dog with Daniel Young. You know, you can't do that in space. If we try to bounce a ball like that in space, it would just go up. It wouldn't come back down. Ooh. Okay. That was the 31st episode of Space Brothers. And yeah, like I said, not a lot to say about this episode. We saw the launch continue. We got to see, you know, I think it repeated some of what we saw last episode, but basically, yeah, it just went up, went up, went up with a lot of smoke and a lot of, and a very loud, like, shock wave that eventually hit, hit Muta, which Daniel was getting ready for, but Muta had no idea that was going to hit. And I was like, whoosh, and he went all wishy, wishy, wishy. And then he would continue to go up and up and up, and then start to see pieces come off, as it usually usually does. And eventually, we got to see him, like, connect it to something else and talk to other astronauts about the trip and 
one of them thought that he would be throwing up and stuff, but he didn't. He's a, he's got a strong tummy, I guess. I guess that's what it comes down to. And he's just having a really good time, you know. He looks so excited going up. He looks out the window at Earth, having fun with that. Just it's a pretty big moment, you know. His entire life has pretty much been building up to this sort of thing. Gone his way to the moon, and just having a great time, really. You know, because the guy says it's about five years, and then Hibito says, "No, it's it's been a lot longer than that, like twenty years. This has been my aspiration for as long as I can remember. This is my life goal. This is great. Only thing that can make this better is that Muta came up here with me, and hopefully Muta can go up there at some point." He's just a little bit behind, but we'll we'll get there. We'll get there. And Daniel revealed himself to be Hibito's like pilot instructor, which is pretty cool, I guess. I mean, it, it wasn't really Muta acted like it was a really really big reveal. I I mean I didn't expect it, but I don't think I wasn't really quite as taken aback as he was. I was just like, okay, that's cool, I guess, you know. But. uh yeah, maybe we'll see more of this guy in the future when Muta becomes a astronaut. He needs some he needs some instructions from this guy, I guess. But yeah, the guy is just such a weirdo. Just hey, do you know why hot dogs are called hot dogs? No, why? I don't know either. Like, uh just, still not a big fan of this guy, to be honest, at all. Just probably my least favorite character in the whole show, honestly. But we also have a little bit of flashback, you know, Hibito, Muta together at one of those Jacks uh, things, you know. We had some astronaut interview with some astronaut, was able to ask questions like a Q&A with the, the audience, which is like pretty much all kids. And <laughs> Hibito really wanted his question answered. He was like, me, 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 me. He was like tearing off his brother's arm to try to get his question answered, which was funny. But uh, yeah, I mean, he definitely thought he would be an astronaut someday, and he was right. So you really can't knock him too much there, Muta. You know, he was he was right. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I really want to say on the episode. Hopefully the space adventure is fun and safe for Hibito, and hopefully Muta can join him someday. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snoki for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.